Rainbow Tarot and thank you for tuning in today. This is a requested reading about Josephine Langford and straight afterwards I'm doing another requested update on Josephine and Hero. Um, so that will be about their relationship afterwards and anything else about their personal lives. So, um, And I would really appreciate it if you would share, subscribe and like to support this channel and keep us going. So I'm just going to get these cards now and give them a quick shuffle and we'll dive into this reading about Josephine. These are really big cards, so I'll probably drop some, but that doesn't really matter. So messages about Josephine. Whoops. Josephine Longford. Any messages about Josephine? Ooh. Josephine Longford. Josephine. Whoops, we'll put that back in, that's falling up. Messages about Josephine. Messages about Josephine Langford. Please give us messages we're allowed to know about Josephine. Let's see what we get. Pop those over there out the way. These are very long, big cards and extremely hard to shuffle. So. So let's see what we have first and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So um, so this is about Josephine's fate because this is like the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Life as it spins round and we go into different cycles. So um, yeah, so um, and what this all means is um, this re literally relates to the turn of events that may, you know, that have made her a star. And I feel like uh, a strange turn of events came about where she may have gone for a role and um, been given a different role by the um, director caster in something that she didn't actually go for. And that's how she became, a, you know, that's how she got her first starring role. And this was her fate. Uh, and, the, and, and although she could never have foreseen this all coming, this is about the turn of events of good luck for her when she went for a lesser role and got the starring role in a film. And that's what made her famous. So, um, and that's wonderful when that happens. So, and she is a big star today. So that's great. So, um, yeah, it was a big transformation for her from just playing uh, minor roles. So the next card is the Ace of Hearts. So, oh, and I see we have another Ace right next to it. Wow, so we have the Ace of Pentacles as well in this reading. So I'll try and hold this up together. If that's even possible. Oh, it is possible, there we go. So this, this is all about beginnings, um, fresh starts. And again, it's a sign of good luck and good fortune. Um, you know, because we have these two aces here together like this. So this is about her luck in being cast constantly uh, in film after film as a star. Um, you know, getting the starring role. And, you know, she's been coming into large amounts of money with all the filming and um, also I do see a house move and this would relate to you know things like buying all new home furnishings and things like that so you know with her all her wealth she could even be thinking about purchasing things as a couple because two aces together does suggest moving and relocating and you know it, it could be moving in with somebody 
so we'll just have to wait and see with that but yeah so that's very good luck these two aces um, for Josephine so next we have the uh, Prince of Pentacles so that's a handsome guy riding in on his horse there so um, so this, this is about actually a young man in her life um, that she thinks about um, a lot and it's someone she has a lot to do with um, that she can't make up her mind about um, so he is stable and he's reliable he's well liked and works hard which Josephine appreciates so um, because she works very hard as well and she likes his sense of humour he also helps her with practical matters so this, this this also relates to her career as well I feel she's planning and preparing um, you know everything to do with her latest film rehearsing and everything and she's preparing for it all she's making sure she completes her roles within the expected time frame that she's been given and that she's up to what she believes is her top standard for it so that's great um so let's see what else we have in the reading so next we have ooh, the devil not some people's favorite card so um so this relates to um an unbalanced part of her life and i just feel um this is about work you know um this is because she works really hard you know and people do when they're at the top it's kind of like um work hard to stay at the top um kind of mindset um and it can become an obsession and i think this is what's happened um and this happens to a lot of successful people and it can cause burnout um, so I feel it would be a good idea for Josephine to kind of like rest and enjoy some quieter time and just chill out for a while and balance her life by spending more time with um, family and friends that type of thing you know because she's obsessing over her role staying at the top you know she's where she wants to be and she wants to stay there but just let go of that a bit i think um because she's doing fine so um and then the next card is the nine of pentacles just hold that up for you so with this card i do see that she will find time in the future to enjoy her life away from work she will make time for this because you know I just think the, the people friends and people in her family are going to point this out to her and say hey you need some enjoyment nobody's going to stop you from staying at the top you're there just enjoy it while you're there so um, yeah and this is at a time when Josephine is feeling self-confident and independent and um, she has she is looking at all she has attained you know success wise and you know she deserves all this so and I think she feels I work so hard I've got to stop stressing about my career and and take some leisure time you know because she's worked really hard to get where she is and uh, she lives a comfortable luxurious life as you can see with the lady on this card depicts Josephine with all her lovely clothes and wealth and everything else so um, yeah so she just needs to make um, sure she has what I call some me time you know time for herself and her hobbies I also see her success carrying on in, in the future so um, yeah so it's all good it is a positive reading for Josephine here 
and her, her success will carry on so that's great so for all of you that enjoy her films there's going to be more from her so so i'm going to leave that there about josephine because now um i've got another requested up update which is about josephine and hero finds tiffin and they star in a lot of films together so um i'll just put those to one side and we'll see what messages we get about them so i'm going to take a different pack for them and their relationship so messages about josephine and hero so Please tell us about Josephine and Hero, about their relationship or anything in their um, sort of personal lives. Anything really about um, Josephine and Hero that we're allowed to know. those out of the way. I'm just going to straighten these up. So let's see what we have first. So right. So we have the um, Ten of Cups. Oh, we've got the Justice card. Ooh, and the Death card. So um, so first we have the Ten of Cups and then these relate to each other. So I'll show you them all. The Justice. And I like to call it, you know, the death and rebirth. It, that's not a physical death so of a person or anything. So don't worry about that. So, um, so with these three cards, what I'm getting here is um, this has been, this is about a difficult family experience um and you can see that in in this one this card here you know this is the happy family and there's two children playing really happily here and this is mum and dad this is depicts josephine's family when she was a child this is what i'm getting and the two children is her and her sister so um so these three cards, what I'm getting is um, there's been a difficult family experience for her. Um, so that's what these are about here. Um, so the messages I'm getting is um, she. This is about her and her sister. So there's been some upset, upset or arguing so this is about josephine and catherine her sister and um they used to be close as children that's what in the card them playing and everything and then um that this is when they were younger growing up having fun together but once um one of them became famous things started to change now what I'm getting is I think Josephine became famous first or one of them became famous first and um, there was something about that that, that what person had paved the way for them um, so and that person said as much so one of them implied or said to the other you know, you got there because of me, I became famous, and so you got noticed because of me. But this is all blown up. Um, this isn't how it was at all. Um, this this is, like, again, relating to childhoods. There was rivalry between these two sisters here as children. 
but they were close and they had a lot of fun and they got on with it but it's playing out now it's like attention of the parents again you know you made it because of me but it's not it's not that way at all they made it because of themselves they're both really talented girls there's just some rivalry there um you know about who's the most popular who's this who's that it's, it's again like the childhood the rivalry of the tension from the parents you know do you like me better i can do this better than her and the other one would be i can do that better than her it's, it's all back to that and it's playing out now and it's a shame because it's caused some sort of rift between these two um so it's very silly um but with the death card although it was the death of that close relationship between them there's a rebirth here so this is a really good sign and we have the two of wands here so i'll just show you show you that so um you know so i i do see them um moving on from this you know in the future because of the the death and rebirth i feel with this card there's going to be a rebirth of their relationship in the future and it's going to get better things will get better and they'll get close again it's going to take time but it's going to happen they're going to realize this is all false and this is what fame and sometimes when one gets on uh first or or one thinks the other is more popular or more famous or whatever this can happen but they will realize they'll see it for what it is it's false just like fame it, it's very fake so they'll realize that this is not them you know it's their relationship that matters here that's what's going to happen there so there's going to be a moving on so it was the death of the close relationship but the rebirth of bringing them back to how they were when they were children and it's going to happen so yeah i hate that when it affects family so oh we've got the lovers here as well so we have the two of ones and the lovers in this reading so um yeah and so this is this is about josephine and hero so but i do feel that has had some effect on her other relationships as it would um so that's why this hasn't moved on in the way or blossomed in the way it could have done because this is playing on her mind and when something isn't right in your life it tends to affect the whole across the board the whole lot so um although she gets on with it well it does play on her mind and it would but it that's that's gonna work out so so that again will help her love life when it does so um when one relationship is good the others tend to fall into place type of thing so um so this is about hero and josephine here um so what i'm picking up is these two they're very close friends but i'd almost say a little bit more a little bit more um than close friends here um but nobody's taking it any further they're both patiently waiting to see what happens you know there's a soulmate energy here you know and there's a closeness between them um they're not sharing they've noticed about each other but they're not sharing it with each other so they're keeping that to themselves they both feel that this could be more they know they're extremely close friends they haven't crossed the line yet but um it's it's they're waiting to happen so um they get on extremely well together they have the same sense of humor that you know they laugh a lot together they have such a lot of fun when they're together you know I, I see them like playful puppies together they really are so um it is all up to them um and it 
and you know it's a very positive energy from um, what I'm getting here and they've got a strong connection and a lot of shared values and um, a lot of um, similar goals you know career wise and they have this very strong mutual attraction to each other um, and this is shown in this lovers card I'm not acting on it at the moment um, I'm getting the feeling that Josephine might be worried that um, Hero um, could turn into a player as some male actors do because a lot of women like him and you know but what I'm getting from his energy, he is he's genuine about her. He, you know, but he's he's not sure. He doesn't want to interfere with work at all, you know. And if she's just seeing it as a work thing, then he's not going to push it because, um, you know, he is a nice guy. And though he wants romance, he wants it to be reciprocated. So, you know. He's not going to push her anywhere. She doesn't want to go. But secretly she does want him to go somewhere. So somebody at some time is going to have to say something. Oh, this is going to go nowhere. It's sort of a loss of something that could be if they don't. Uh, they have good com communication in their friendship. But they're not saying. They're not letting go enough with each other there. They're just thinking it to themselves so I really hope you know that does work out for them um, the next card is the Hierophant so so um, this is a very good sign and it means you know they have this solid traditional friendship um, you know what I mean is where they're on the same page about most things so I feel like they both sense a feeling uh, that they are meant to be you know um, they're meant to have this close soulmate friendship um, but they, they're both scared to take it any further to take the plunge um, because they've both buried their heads in their careers basically and they don't want to ruin um, their careers um, you know so they'd rather leave it if if they think it's it's going to be too much with their careers because um, it's very demanding they have very demanding careers um, and they're afraid that they might not have the time um, to fit a relationship in and make it work because that does happen often with two people with very big um, careers they find it difficult and they know it's the relationship that would suffer and you know Josephine's been there before and, and she doesn't want any more heartbreak and um, Hero only wants the best for her anyway but I do feel they need to be more vulnerable and bring up what they both secretly want it's kind of like they're in denial so it may or may never happen so um, the next card is the two of swords so um, these two spend a lot of time together and like I've said there's everything there to lead to a romance but they're just in two minds where they want this to go in the future. They don't want to ruin their friendship. Um, because, you know, if if you fall out with a friend like that, um, you can't work with them again. And they, they're in a lot of films that would ruin their career because, you know, the director and the producer would be like, one of you have to go because you, you don't get on anymore. Uh, and they'd be replaced and that would ruin their careers so and then they're at the top and they want to stay there so they're very aware of that so um what else am i getting um 
that they spend, you know, a heck of a lot of time on their careers. So, um, but they do feel very comfortable around each other. With, you know, they are best friends. They want the best for each other, even if they don't land up with each other. They would go to each other for advice. Um, they have the potential there to have a lot more. It's all there. And they both know that somewhere. Um, yeah, so with this card, it could go either way. Um, you know, it's all waiting to, to happen, but that depends whether they do anything about it. So this is choices. This is the two choices, the two of swords. Which, which way is it going to go? There's two of them. They need to make their minds up. You know, they're only young as well. And I do feel like Hero feels... Um, he wonders about commitment at his age because he knows um, it's young for a guy and he's he's got this big film career ahead of him as well. And if he does make the plunge, he'd want it to last. And he looks at... Um, the statistics of other people and it's not great you know famous people lasting you know so they they may wait till they finish their films when there's not the pressure and stress of their careers you know and they have a break or something or they may just stay friends we're going to have to um see in the future it could just go either way but it hasn't happened yet so anyway um we can do some more readings in the future on these but for now um i'm gonna leave it there and and i wish them all the best with their careers and with their friendship so that's the end of the reading i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now